All right, guys, it is now day, I don't know, it's too far. But anyways, got the parts that came in, got the uh, inner and outer tie rods, got the sway bar end links. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that and wait for my buddy to come in to get ready to start cutting the strut towers and welding the new plates. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna go and take some measurements for the diameter of the circles that they use for the top hat um, clearance. And then I'm going to also kind of get a measurement, or I'm actually just gonna make a template for what he has for his, and then I'm gonna mock it up for mine for when I'm ready for mine. But really, I shouldn't need to because I have the strut bar to kind of gauge it to see where I need to be. But I just wanna be double sure so I know because I can only cut it once. So. I'm gonna get it right the first time, or at least we're gonna try. So I'm gonna try and get these things installed and then back his, uh, Steven's car out. We're gonna get everything ready to roll. All right guys, so here's everything all laid out for you. These are the old outer tie rods, inner tie rods, and the outsides are the new. Don't know why they're different. I think it's the same company, the same Duralast stuff, but I mean, it's just different. But they're the same size. These are the new outers, these are the new inners. They both came with washers and grease and all the liking. These are the new sway bar end links. It's got the nice like polyurethane bushing, so they're gonna be nice and sturdy. So my steering is gonna be a 10 times better. And then with the new inner and outer tie rods, it's gonna be even more. So I'm gonna get the inner tie rods and outer tie rods assembled. I already like matched up the nuts kind of similar to where the uh, stock ones were at. And then I'm gonna run these in. I'm gonna seal them a little bit. And then these came with nylon lock nut washers, which I really don't like. So I think I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna try and see if I can use these castle nuts. I didn't see if they had an actual hole in the inside of the threads or not. Yeah, no, no hole. Well, I guess we'll just use the lock nut washers cause I'm not dealing with the trying to drill in through a hole so I can put a car pin in it. I guess we're just gonna send it, but we'll keep you updated on as we progress through this thing. I'll get them all pieced together. And then we will get this thing rolling. And all right, now let's get these on the car. Got everything all greased on the insides. Inserts are all packed. Got everything lined up, measured as much as I could. And then I'll do these afterwards. Cool, let's get this thing rolling. Got the plates made, getting them welded in right now. Josh is finishing up fixing his exhaust situation. Steven's just... I did that. I'm pretty proud of it. He made a box, get some of this sick weld porn right here. Just... Ooh. There we have it, boys. Filled. Bye, Phil. Ah, they are man, so beautiful. All right, so we got one in, one left to go. He's just finishing that one up. Get some weld corn over here. But yeah, so that's it, boys. Now what we got left is that we gotta do the strut brace, mock it up, see where we need to cut. And then tomorrow I gotta go to Lowe's and I'm gonna go and buy a hole saw bit for the actual coilover setup. And then once we get that, then I'll be able to identify which points that I need to put for the mounting points of the coilover. So I'll probably do all this tomorrow because it's getting really late and I really do not wanna do any more of this right now. And I know Phil is pretty tired too. We've been cranking this thing out for the past five hours now so we're gonna finish this up with this welding and then we'll catch this thing back up tomorrow all right guys it is now too far gone again is the next day um, we're going to get started on tracing out the mounting points for the coilovers and drilling those out I went to Lowe's already and I bought a hole saw for the actual circumference of the coilover top hat 
so I won't have any issues with top hat adjustment for camber and everything. Um, I also went and I got new drill bits and I got undercoating spray. So when I'm done with the whole thing, I'm gonna mask it all off. And I'm gonna go undercoating on the bottom side and as well on the wheel wells, just so I have enough room and it all looks clean and I don't have to worry about anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it. It's already gonna be a long day. I just wanna get this thing done with so we can actually start out and get ready for test driving and for the air out. I'm ready for the air out. All right, now um, I got everything kind of mocked up right now. I'm gonna go and double check and just put the bags on and see how they fit, see what they mark up and um, kind of get, get like, guess like the angle of how they fit. Here's the bags. They look freaking phenomenal. Shout out to Tough Luck for uh, hooking me up with some damn good thread on bags. These guys are, I've, I've gone to him a couple times before in the past and he just does a phenomenal job of just getting just the right thing that you need. So anything that you need for like thread on bags, for any kind of coil over, hit my dude up. He does an amazing job. Very fast, very cheap, very efficient. And for any of you guys that are on like a budget build, this is the way to go. We'll get those on and we will see how they fit. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So that's kind of where I have it mounted up for right now. As you can see, it's pretty straight up, honestly, which I don't know if that's the trajectory. Josh isn't here right now because they went to go do pictures and stuff, so I'm left here by myself. But it doesn't seem like it's that far off. I mean, I could kind of tuck it in a little bit, but I mean, I'm gonna have to kind of get some pictures and kind of double check it and make sure, but I mean, I don't really see much of a problem with this. I'm just gonna send it and we'll see what happens, but I also gotta fix the uh, sway bar because it doesn't fit the um, the stock R32 uh, lower control arm. So I gotta swap that out and I gotta cut this sway bar. Or I might just go ahead and just buy a new sway bar. I'm already so far deep in this, I might as well. But we'll see what happens. All right guys, so here's where we're at. Um, I traced it out and cut. I know it's going to be a little close to the le uh, to the welds, but I don't think it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, like I said, I was like this field came in yesterday and did a pretty damn good job. I had to actually slide it over to the right side because I needed to have at least a little bit of an angle. And the way that it's setting right now, it's almost straight up. So at least with this, it'll give me kind of an angle to kind of tilt it a little bit on the outside. And this one I had to kind of double, I had to redo my lines because I put it too far to the right. So I X'd them out, these little three dots and shit, and I moved it over a little bit. But I checked it once, twice, three times, so on and so forth, and I think this is gonna be it. We're just gonna send it, um, and then we'll just deal with it afterwards. So, we're gonna get to cutting. Gigantic pain in the ass. I almost fucked up my face doing that one, but freaking perfect circle, boy. Hell yeah, it looks amazing. All right, so I went, I took the center punch and I center punched the center tops. Then I'm gonna get those all drilled out. All righty guys, it has been a super long day, but we've made some massive amounts of progress. So, got the center hole cut out. That was a pain in the ass. Got the coilover bolt holes drilled. That was a pain in the ass. Wound up breaking through five bits and one cone bit, and I finally was able to get enough to where I have um, a little bit of wiggle room to get in coilover actually on. So, I'm just gonna show you guys. Alrighty, so. I know it's not perfect right now. I still got a little bit of a gap on this side and I got it the same with the other side too. I was able to get the bolts and stuff installed without any like side to side motion. So it fits perfectly. 
Um, so I'm gonna go probably tomorrow and I'm gonna go get a, a burring tool, or like a deburring tool or just a burring tool. And I'm gonna try and just like slowly just work this angle right here. I gotta take off this sway bar because I'm just gonna go ahead and just order an S13 front sway bar. Uh, I'm gonna have to adjust the inner and outer tie rod so that my steering is actually decent. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we got everything all mocked up and taped. Um, now the only thing left for me to do is I gotta prep it. So I'm just gonna take some uh, low grade acetone and um, isopropyl alcohol just to kind of get off all the dirt and everything from underneath the wheel wells and up on the top where all we were welding and fabricating and doing all that fun stuff. Do that to both sides and then we can start sealing up this bottom side. Seems how we didn't put a weld on the bottom side of it. I'm just gonna take a thing of sealer and go all the way around this whole thing just so it's nice and sealed. Phenomenal. I guess it does kind of have a little bit of a texture to it, but I'm not trying to go for pristine con engine bay conditions for right now. This is just to basically get rid of rust and to clean it up and make it all look OEM one part. And there we have it guys. Went ahead, did the test drive. Test drive did great. No bumps, nothing. Didn't even have to worry about anything sort of rubbing issues or anything. This thing handles like a freaking dream, but no leaks, no runs, no nothing. And God, that thing looks mean from the front. Everything is pretty much good to go. Um, just gotta wait for my other fender to come in and then I'll be able to start installing fenders, uh, wide body kit, and then the front bumper and side markers and then we should be done. We'll do a full reveal once everything comes in. It'll probably be a little bit later on, but that's pretty much it. This pretty much concludes the video of the R32 swap, really. Um, the only thing else is just putting on panels, getting the rest of the bumper on and the, all the other shit. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't. No, I'm just kidding, I did. Um, the end result was definitely worth it, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.